Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. IAM leaders want to see Delta airline employees succeed. But the machinists know that can only happen if their voices are heard and their votes are counted. It's this message that put the IAM on the ground this week at Delta hubs around the country. I'm voting. I am voting. I'm voting yes. Won't you all join me? I am voting yes, too. I am voting yes. I'm voting yes to lift you. I'm voting yes to lift me. And I'm voting yes to lift us all. Will you join us, brothers and sisters? The message in Atlanta came through loud and clear. It's time to vote yes and give Delta employees a voice at work. I know what it is to struggle. I know what it is to fight, to stand up, to push and pull, and to fight for voting rights, to have a voice, to have a say. It is the right thing to do. It is the fair thing to do. It is the just thing to do. So let us, us to Delta, give the people a vote. Let them vote. There's no shame in saying, I am somebody. We all have a voice, and to get a stronger voice, you have to vote I-A-M. It was hard not to feel inspired standing on hallowed ground, honoring a man who spent his life fighting for human rights, so that the sisters and brothers of the following generations would have a voice and a vote that counts. Because as we stand here, in the backdrop of the original Ebenezer Baptist Church and in front of the new Ebenezer Baptist Church, Martin Luther King fought for all of us. He fought for the right to vote. But I was inspired by Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr. and others to get in the way. So more than 50 years I've been getting in trouble. It's good trouble, it's necessary trouble. But the machinists in this crowd know this national monument in Georgia and this vote in Atlanta are much bigger than just Delta Airlines. This is about doing what's right and just in America for our friends and families, our brothers and sisters. Well, we come here, brothers and sisters and ladies and gentlemen, because this is our home. Our union was founded here in a hole in the ground, May 5th, 1888, by 19 brave machinists who had had enough and wanted that dignity and respect that has become the legacy and the hallmark of this union. And it's this message that will continue to beckon the machinist back home in the future, as it called home so many in the past, whenever there was a need. And that's why President Buffenbarger is traveling around to all these locations to tell people, as Martin Luther King said, it's always the right time to do the right thing. And the time is now. And the time is now to do what? Vote yes for the IAM. Vote yes for the IAM. The machinists kept a busy schedule, visiting six cities in less than three days with a message that reached thousands. Later this week, we'll show you the support and solidarity labor leaders found in Minneapolis. You can log on to goiam.org for more information on this story. And thanks for watching.